Hands have to be shoulder width apart if you're on your toes. You keep your head up to keep a straight back. When you come down, your chest has to touch, and then back up. If you're on your knees, same principle. You straight it back, easy. and up. What's up? So you make it look easy. Well, I do it a lot. I've always had, I guess, a teaching uh, be like feeling because when I was in high school, I loved PE. I loved it so much. I mean, I was one of those kids that took it every day. Um, my senior year, we had like A and B days, and I took it every single day. Um, after the high school, I joined the military, and um, one of my secondary MOSs was teaching people how to shoot because I was good at shooting, and I really enjoyed that. So I've always taught on some aspect or another since high school. And with the military, you know, when you're a senior Marine or when you're someone that is the expert on a weapon or a skill, you teach that to the fellow Marines. And I did that, and then when I got out, I became a strength and conditioning coach after I got my degree and I was teaching people how to train, how to diet and all that. And it was very rewarding, but when I started working with high school kids, when they're just developing their character and becoming young adults, that's where I found the most reward out of teaching and that's when I decided that's the avenue I wanted to go to. Whatever you put into it is important and I'm one of those people, I'm here very early in the morning, I make sure that everything's put together right and the biggest thing we teach, uh, myself and Dan Stubbs teach a class called leadership and we talk about lead by example and we teach them uh, an honor system basically, you know, having honor, having, you know, physical and mental courage, being committed to what we're doing and making sure they lead by example and if they lead by example we have to as well so we're always prepared making sure we're doing those things and the Marine Corps is just a perfect uh, teacher outlet system for that to be able to do what I'm doing now. Everything I learned in the Marine Corps I definitely put to use here. I wanted this school because these are the kids that I like to work with. These are the young adults that need help and I'm one of those individuals that I have a similar background in the sense that I know what some of them are going through. So this was the school I wanted to work at, absolutely. Let's go, hon. You got 20 seconds left. Come on, you can get 30. Come on. Well, the biggest thing is with these students, they know the difference between talking the talk and walking it. And if you're here every day working with them, if you tell them you're going to do something, you do it. And you expect them to do the same kind of thing. And when they ask for advice or they ask about my uh, personal experiences, I, I let them know. I was one of those students in high school that had some really good teachers that helped me but I lacked direction and I had some uh, problems with authority and the military helped cure me of that real quick. And with myself, and I, I see this with pretty much all the students, they're looking for role models, they're looking for direction. And if I can help them either with that direction or help them with advice or if they just need to um, have someone to counsel with, I'm there for them and they know that. What'd you get? 63. Good job, man. How many did you beat it by? 10. All right. The trick is to find a way to motivate them and encourage them in a positive way. And when they see that I'm doing the exercises with them or I can demonstrate it just as good as anybody else or I'm encouraging them to do their best, it makes a big difference. And as you saw today, I mean, the students really worked hard. Today was a great day for you to be able to observe them doing their fitness testing and they want to come in and do better. And what I tell them when they first come in, I don't care if Joe is better than Jimmy, I want you to do your personal best. And if you do your personal best, that's all you can ask for. Because everyone's built differently, everyone has a different fitness level, has different genetics. If they come in and do the best they can do, that's all I ask for. I'm able to pull on a lot of experience from other careers and pathways that I've taken, and all of it has helped me here. And it's nice to see a student that was struggling, like my first year here, that honestly a lot of teachers couldn't even connect with, actually be enrolled in this leadership class now. And we have quite a few of those. We have another girl, her name is Jessica Villanueva, who a couple years ago was um, a tough one to get along with. And she's one of our key leaders. I mean, we call her Miss Dependable now. And what is really, really nice for us as a staff is to see these students come in here and develop not only as a student and being able to get good grades, but their character changes for the better to where they understand what integrity is, they understand what personal and physical courage is, and to see them actually start to use it with other students. And with our discovery program, we have what we call a Discovery 3, Disco 3, where these students actually learn how to use 
um, positive interactions or uh, when someone has a dispute, how to use it in a positive way. And these students actually mediate between each other. The students actually take charge and you'll have a student actually mediate between two students that have a conflict or issue. Do you want your students to respect you or do you want them to like you? And for my philosophy, I want them to respect me. I'm not their friend, I'm what I would consider a mentor, a teacher, I'm here to help them and I will help them any way I can, but I'm not going to tell them what they're doing is right when it's wrong. And when they're doing the wrong things, I'm going to hold them accountable. And I might go just like this. Someone might be uh, arguing with me in class and say, I'm not going to give you my cell phone, Sean. I'm going to be like, well, I'm going to have to send you to the office then. And I send them to the office. The next day they're back in class. We got a clean slate. They know the behavior I'm expecting. If they pull it out again and, I, and they don't want to give it to me when I ask for it, we'll do the same dance all over again. So it's that hold them accountable. They have a real hard time with it at first when they're getting to know you, but once they know your expectations, they respect you for it. And I hold myself to those same uh, expectations. Like one of my rules, just like I said, is no cell phones. You'll never see a cell phone out in my room. I won't pull one out. And so if I'm expecting them to do that, they know that I'll hold myself to that standard as well. And they, they appreciate that. <laughs>